Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Treats by Linda. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare salted beef or tolo beef as it's popularly called in Ghana. It's a very simple process that you can do at home and you don't need to buy it anymore from the market. These are the ingredients we'll be using for our salted beef or tolo beef. I am using beef, but you can also use lamb. So I got the beef that has a bit of fat in it and is perfect for this recipe. We we'll also need some grains of selam or huintia as we call it in Ghana. We we'll also need some cloves or pepper as it's popularly called in Ghana. And this particular spice, which is star anise, is so, so aromatic. It will leave your tolo beef smelling so, so nice and you're just going to love it. I also use some bay leaves, about five or six of that, and it's okay. Then some black peppercorns, about two tablespoons of that. And this is sea salt or rock salt, original from Ghana. It's very essential and we are also using some iodized salt just a little of that but you can choose um, to use um, only the sea salt and it's, it's okay so i cut or slice my beef into pieces it doesn't have to be too chunky it doesn't have to be too thin or too small you know because it's homemade so it doesn't have to be as small as the ones the market women sell so you just slice them up or cut them up according to your preference for me this size was just perfect so yes that is it now i decided to toast my spices for just a few seconds to arouse the aroma in all of these spices i just put them in my fry pan dry fry pan for just about 45 seconds or about a minute just to you know arouse them and it was just perfect so i added it to my my beef that had been sliced added just about two tablespoons of my iodized salt and some of the sea salt just mix all of this till every inch of your beef is coated with the toasted spices and the salt just continue to use your hand to you know mix everything and you just cover it and leave it on your kitchen counter for 24 hours that's all you don't need to put it in the fridge because it has to be cured first before it goes into the fridge and this is how it looked like on the second day you realize that some liquid had been accumulated um, at the bottom of the container so i drained that liquid and look at how it is because of, of the spices that we toasted it's made a change color so once i drained the water out i added a little bit more of the sea salt covered it again and then on the third day this is how our tolo beef was looking and you'd also realize that yes so long as you continue to add the salt to it it would accumulate some liquid at the end of the day and that's how you know that your beef is being cured or the tolo beef is being done well again i drained the liquid out of it mixed everything again added a little bit more salt and covered it for another day the temperature where I am is not so warm, so it was just okay. I could leave it just on my kitchen counter. But if you are in a warm temperature zone, you can put it on in your fridge on the second day and it should be fine. So after four days, I just strained everything, put it in a big bowl, added some water to it and then just took it out to make sure that all the spices and the the salt were washed off and i put everything in my container made sure that there was no water in the container and 
you know that the tolo beef or the cured beef is ready to be used. It's perfect. You can use this to cook your anguamo or braised rice. You can use it for soup. You can use it for jollof and it's absolutely perfect. It's so simple and I really hope that you give it a try. You are going to love it and you don't even need to buy it from the market anymore. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I hope that you try this recipe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!